Just wanted to make an update about the Strapi plugin that I've been working. I love Strapi because it allows someone like me, a front-end developer, to not have to worry about building a full backend from scratch because I could rely on Strapi that allows you to create an API with an amazing admin panel with authentication included out of the box in minutes. So there's many other features, but anyway, but what's cool about building plugins, it allows you to add additional functionality to Strapi, which will allow you to share that functionality with other Strapi instances. Or you could also publish your plugin on our Strapi marketplace. So the plugin that I made allows you to add context to your chat GPT chatbot, which will be able to answer questions around your domain knowledge. So the way it works, you're able to create a new embeddings, which is a way for you to represent your text data as vectors. Then you'll be able to take those vector embeddings and store them in a database like Pinecone, which is basically a way to give your chatbot long-term memory. And through using library like Langchain, you're able to not only create embeddings, but you're also able to query those embeddings within your chatbot. So I'll show you a quick example. So here within my Strapi application, I'm going to create a new embeddings. And this is something I copy and pasted from our Strapi values. Let me uh, give it a title here. And once I create this embedding, what it's going to do, it's gonna go ahead and create a new entry within our vector database, which now allows me to use this data within my chatbot. So now I'm able to click on our chatbot window and type a question. What is proactive responsibility? And click send. And it's gonna go ahead and answer my question. What's awesome, you're also able to see the original source which the answer is based on. And you could also navigate to the source material in our app here, which is kind of cool. And I could continue conversation with my chatbot about this new context data that I added. Why is this important? Click send. And then it tells me an answer, setting values is important because it provides a framework for how employees should behave and interact with each other in their organization. And then again, I'm referencing the original source that this knowledge is based. So what's really awesome, you're now able to use ChatGPT that is aware of your domain knowledge to have a conversation. But what makes this plugin awesome, instead of just having these conversation within my Strapi admin, I exposed a route that I'm able to hit from any front end. And so what I'm able to do from my front end, I'm able to create a chatbot messenger where I'm able to query this endpoint and have a functional chatbot for which I could ask questions. Now, because I don't have a front end created, I'm just gonna demonstrate via the API here. So what is proactive responsibility? Click send, and it's gonna go ahead and give me an answer. I'm gonna say, why is it important and click send. And it is important to set these values at Strapi in order to establish positive and healthy work environment. So as you could see, we're able to have a chat which is aware of our data. Outside of creating embeddings, let's say I randomly create one and maybe that's not something I wanna do. You also have the ability to delete those embeddings, which will be removed not only from your Strapi database, but also from your vector database. And my motivation for creating this is because I really wanted to have an easy way to build chatbots for my front-end websites, which are capable answer questions based on my domain knowledge. Once this plugin is done and I publish it on the marketplace, I'll make sure to share the NPM link with you. And I will encourage you to fork it and try to build on top of it to build additional cool AI features that you like. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you what I've been working and let me know in the comments what you're working on. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.